with your AccuWare uh, Label Connector certified printer and you want to get that installed, uh, we will assist you with that. But here's a, a video to kind of guide you through that if you need to give that to a third party to have them install it or if you want to install it yourself. Basically, just go to the AccuWare webpage, accuware-inc.com, creators of Label Connector, and then just go to our support page. And we have it under the desktop edition, but that same driver works whether you have the online edition or the desktop edition of Label Connector. You just go ahead and just download under the printer drivers column the top item there, Label Connector Certified Printer. Just go ahead and download that and uh, just execute and run that download. Okay, so some of you may need to have permissions to do this. So uh, installing a printer should be something you're allowed to do, but um, let's go ahead and just run through this wizard, accept the license agreement for the driver, perform the install, and you don't need to w read the readme file, just let's just run the driver install wizard. And um, at the bottom of the screen, just off the screen there, you'll see the little security icon just below the little shield. Just select that and it'll pull on this. Uh, just accept the the message that pops up there. Just say, yes, I want to allow this driver to install. And then um, now at this point, you've got your printer loaded with labels. You've got supplies loaded into it that were probably shipped to you with the printer. And you got it powered up, but what you got to do is just keep the USB cable disconnected between the printer and the PC just for the moment. And then what will happen is when you get to this stage, it's going to try and sense that over the USB port. And you want to just let it sense that as you plug in the USB cable. Okay, and it picked up that I have that printer connected. Just go ahead and just perform the install. Here you can name it anything you want if you want to. Uh, you can use it as the default printer if you so choose. Install the driver. And I'm going to get into like to set up the driver next and configure it uh, to the settings that you want. Uh, okay, so it's completed that and we'll just close that now. So then what you do is go into Windows Settings, okay, uh, right here. You can also search for settings right there and go over to devices and printers, printers and scanners. And you'll see it's um, added this printer now to your list. First thing you got to do is go to printer properties, advanced, and then go to printing defaults. I like to set that because it's at the root level. Just It sets it up so that this new page size you're going to set is going to be your default. What I do is I use this first entry here and edit that because that's going to be the default that gets used. And let's say your width of your labels is three and the height is two. So again, when you kind of unfurl the roll of labels, the width of the material is the width across, and it's actually the kind of the width of the whole roll. And then the height is up and down, you know, between the gaps. So we'll accept that. And then I also like to set dithering to none here because it just helps with thermal printers to have that set that way. And apply. And OK. And then I also go under general and I go to preferences. And in some for some printer drivers, it'll inherit into here. But if it doesn't, you should edit that and also set that to 3 by 2 here. And then graphics it inherited as well. So just make sure that inherits into the you know, preference, preferences. And then what I'll do a lot of times too is to get your printer sort of jump started, um, I'll run a calibration which feeds some labels out on the printer. Um, and it teaches the, la the printer about the length of the label supplies that you have. And then if your printer understands uh, the supplies, what I do is I print a test page from here, uh, which is should print the word test at the top of the label uh, so that you know your printer is alive. It can print and it prints the word test on it OK. And that's it. You're pretty much ready to go. All you got to do is go into label connector now and uh, work with the printer from there. You'll create your label. In this case, 
you would go into our designer and set the page size to three by two, for example, and then uh, design your label from there. So hope this helps in getting an end-to-end -end, you know, download and install of the printer driver uh, for the AccuWare Label Connector certified printer. Uh, if you have any questions, please reach out to AccuWare. We'll assist you and remote in and help. Thanks.